Hello everyone, Professor Ashwini Nehrkar is here before you to deliver a lecture on subject basic materials and products. In this we are going to deal with stone about the topic classification of rocks. Stone is a natural hard substance which is formed from rocks. That's why we need to study first about the classification of rocks. Classification of rocks are of three types. Geological classification, physical classification and chemical classification. Geological classification includes igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. Physical classification includes stratified rocks, non-stratified or unstratified rocks and foliated rocks. Chemical classification includes siliceous rocks, argillaceous rocks and calcareous rocks. Let's see all these types of rocks in detail. First we will deal with geological classification. Geological classification is further classified into three types that is igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. In this image we can see the igneous rock which is formed by cooling of magma. In this image, we can see the sedimentary rock which is formed by the deposition of layers and these rocks are formed near the sea. In this image, we can see the metamorphic rock which is formed by heat and pressure. Now, let's see the igneous rocks in detail. Formation of igneous rocks. These are primary rocks which are formed from molten magma and they appear in glossy and crystalline appearance. The strength of igneous rocks are strong and durable. Examples of igneous rocks are granite stone which appears a reddish in color. The another example of igneous rock is basalt stone which appears black in color. The another example of igneous rock is pumice stone which appears grey in colour and porous in nature. Now let's see the example of igneous rock in detail. Here we can see the image of granite. As the granite is the hard, durable and long-lasting material, it can be easily maintained and it is available in wide range of colors and patterns. It is bacterial and stain resistant. It is resistant to water and moisture. Hence, they are used for countertops of kitchen. This is the another example of igneous rock that is pumice stone. In this image we can see the building made of pumice stone. Pumice is a light colored porous igneous rock. Here in this image we can see 
the example of basalt wall which is also an example of igneous rock. Basalt is a type of igneous rock and is usually dark grey or black in colour. Its strength is same as granite stone. In this example, we can see the wash basins made of basalt. Basalt is also used as an aggregate. The another geological classification is sedimentary or secondary rock. Sedimentary rock formation. Sedimentary rocks are formed by depositing sediments near rivers and lakes. When sediments lose water, they are converted into rocks. Deposition of process of sedimentary rocks makes the rocks strong. These rocks are porous in nature, soft and easy to cut. Examples of sedimentary rocks are sandstone and limestone. Sedimentary rocks are also used as cement, sand and gravel. Sedimentary rocks are used for flooring material. This is an example of sandstone flooring, which is an example of sedimentary rock. It is relatively soft, porous, and non slippery. It is available in many colors. It is bacteria, stain and moisture resistant. It has low maintenance. They are resistant to rainy season. Hence they are used for pool decks also. Disadvantage of sedimentary rock or the sandstone is they allow water to percolate. They can develop stains easily. Here we can See the another use of sandstone in the form of sculpture. Sandstone can also be used for steps. Sandstone can be used as a landscaping material. So all these are the examples of sedimentary rocks and these are the uses of Sandstone. Another example of sedimentary rock is limestone. Let's see the uses of limestone. Limestone is used as lime powder. Limestone can also be used as a paper block in exteriors. Or parking areas. Limestone can be used in the form of pebbles. Limestone is used as a flooring material. Limestone is also a type of sedimentary rock and it is found in marine water. It is formed by deposition of calcium carbonate from lake or ocean water. It is softer and lighter material. It can also be used as aggregate in concrete, road base, railroad ballast. Limestone are hard and do not wear easily and can be used for flooring of kitchen and bathrooms. Disadvantage of limestone is that they can be eroded by rainwater. 
the another type of geological classification is metamorphic or tertiary rocks formation of metamorphic rocks metamorphic rocks are formed by transformation of existing rock type by heat and pressure it is called metamorphism which means change in form these rocks are formed by heat and pressure as we have seen in previous slides these rocks are harder than other rocks as they are formed by pressure of heat and wind examples of metamorphic rocks are slate quartzite and marble and gneiss in this image we can see the example of metamorphic rock this shows the rocks is harder as they are formed by pressure stones derived from metamorphic rocks appears in this way in classification of rocks the another classification is physical classification which includes stratified rocks stratified rocks are formed by layers which are also the same as sedimentary rocks the stratified rocks are split easily into thin slabs or layers and hence they are called as stratified rocks all sedimentary rocks are essentially of stratified rocks type metamorphic rocks may be either stratified or unstratified depending upon its parent rock the examples of stratified rocks are limestone and sandstone so these are the classification of physical classification of rocks that is stratified non stratified and foliated we have seen about stratified rocks now let's see about unstratified or non stratified rocks sandstone is an example of sedimentary rock that is the stratified rock it is relatively soft here is the another example of sandstone which is used in landscaping material sandstone binds with the cement and also durable hence it is used for walls pillars and landscaping products uses of sandstone sandstone can also be used as bathroom flooring as they are bacteria resistant stain and moisture resistant they are non slippery hence they can be used as bathroom tiles and sanitary ware products another use of sandstone is they can be used as sculptures that is the artistic purpose to create ornamental statues the ports are of material sandstone as the sandstone is natural earth material hence the ports are of sandstone material unstratified rocks are rocks which do not show sign of stratification and cannot be easily split into thin slabs or layers and hence called as unstratified rocks unstratified rocks examples are granite basalt and lime trap metamorphic rocks may be either 
stratified or unstratified. Igneous rocks are essentially unstratified. Examples of unstratified rocks are granite, basalt and trap. Unstratified rocks appears in this way. They don't have stratification lines. They are in one form. Foliated rocks are the repetitive layers in metamorphic rocks. Non-foliated metamorphic rocks are typically formed in the absence of pressure. Now, the last example of chemical classification is chemical classification which includes siliceous rocks. The formation of siliceous rocks contains silica as the principal constituent which are hence called siliceous rocks. These stones are durable in strength and life. They are long lasting material hence they are durable. Examples of siliceous rocks are granite, quartzite and sandstone. Siliceous rocks appears in this way. The chemical classification includes siliceous rocks, argillaceous rocks and calcareous rocks. We have seen about siliceous rocks. Now let's see about argillaceous rocks. Argillaceous rocks are formed by alumina as the principal constituent. The argillaceous rocks contains clay as they belong to the group. These argillaceous rocks are less durable as it is made of clay. Examples of argillaceous rocks are slate, laterite. Here we can see the image of the examples of argillaceous rocks that is laterite and slates. These are in the form of bricks. Calcareous rocks, these stones are formed by principal constituent as calcareous. They also contain proportion of siliceous and clay material. The examples of calcareous rocks are dolomite which appears in this way as the white stone. And the another example of calcareous rocks is limestone. They appear grey in color. Thank you for listening me.